point it's better than just you know i love you so much baby i love you i love you you're my favorite person i bend over I love you. all right today i'm checking out rachel sweet i'm listening to the song voodoo let's get into it Pants off? What kind of voodoo is this? Close your eyes, baby, make a wish. Do you wanna try? Wanna try? <laughs> you got the power, cause you know that I'm flying high. She's astral projecting. That is an interesting set of vocal cords right there. It's, ooh, it's got a sound. The voodoo that you do so well. You know what I mean? When I see her, that's just not the voice I imagine. It's so interesting when someone has, has a certain type of voice. It doesn't matter the type, but just a voice when you look at them, you're like, oh, dang, I did not expect that to come out of you. And now as far as the lyrics go, I thought she was casting the voodoo spell because she's, you know, poking the doll with the needles and all that. And she said, like, a sweet pair of legs, da 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 but I think she's talking about her partner has the voodoo spell, the mind control spell on her. So that's interesting. I thought it would be the other way around. Usually it's the women who have the guy wrapped around their finger. With the voice to me not matching her look, I think what it is is she's got like, uh, it's like a grown woman voice, but not like, you know, grown woman like that. Cause the voice is still, you know, it's higher pitch. It's got a little, I, I keep wanting to say twang, but I wouldn't call that a twang, but it's a little eh, eh, voodoo. You know, so that's actually kind of a younger voice, but she looks like a teenager or something. She looks young, but her voice sounds like a grown woman. 
And so that's what's kind of throwing me off with how she looks versus her voice. But I like that this is not uh, just a typical love song. For love songs, I like the outside of the box just coming from a different angle. Whether you believe in voodoo or not, it doesn't really matter. She probably doesn't believe in voodoo. I think she's just trying to make the point that she's wrapped around somebody's finger. And then that's atypical, because usually the girl has a guy wrapped around the finger. We have a phrase for that. It's called P-whipped. You know, I'm trying to keep it clean, but you guys know the phrase. When you got your boy and he's wrapped around the finger, never wants to hang out anymore, just becomes a yes man. We call that man P-whipped, okay? That's usually what it is. I don't know what it is the other way around. Like, is there a popular phrase for when it's the other way around? and the girl's wrapped around the guy's finger. What is that called? But anyway, I like the outside the boxness of this love song. It's better than just, you know, I love you so much, baby. I love you, I love you. You're my favorite person. I bend over for you. I love you. I lo you know what I'm saying? Just the typical, you know, sweet phrases and stuff. That just can get old. There's nothing wrong with those songs. It's just, there's just so many that it can kind of be like, okay, you know, yeah, I get it. It's a lot of love songs. So it's nice to come at a love song from a different angle. If I wrote a love song, it wouldn't necessarily be about voodoo, but it would totally be 100% outside the box. You know what? I should take on writing a love song. Maybe I'm not the best person to perform it. We got some good baddie singers. Maybe somebody else can perform it. I should write a love song. It would be crazy. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like I don't know, but I don't know.